Bechoyroi's daf mem tes. As you can see in the chart, our Mishnah only has the three cases in blue and doesn't mention the fourth case in red, which as the other Mishnah earlier had this fourth case. And the Gemara says it's because this case doesn't fit into the ratio and we want all the cases to be the same. The ratio is a case where one man is married to two women and it doesn't apply in this case. Therefore, the Mishnah only has the three cases in blue. It says the following Mishnah. We know the opinion of Ben, the obligation is only once the child turns 30 days. If the child died before 30 days and the father had prepaid the opinion of Ben, the Kayin must return the opinion of Ben. If the child dies after 30 days, there was already an obligation for the father, but the child died and the father didn't give opinion of Ben yet. He has the obligation to give the opinion of Ben after the child's death. What is the halacha status of the 30th day itself? This is Machlekes. According to Chachamim, the 30th day is like the 29th day. In other words, he didn't become obligated for Pinyin Aben yet. Why? Because the Torah says, Mi ben v'mala. It has to be mala, more than a month old. Rabbi Kiva has a suffer. Since by Erechin, the Torah also uses the word v'mala, that it has to be past 60 years, 60 years and more, and since the Torah says it twice, by Pidyon Ben in the Midbar, which is by the Levian, and by, by Erechin, that's Shneik Suvim Habayim Ke'echad Ve'eim Melamdim. We cannot learn out anything from these two drushes. On the other hand, we're not trying to learn out a new Chiddush, we're trying to learn out something very similar. We're trying to learn out Pidyon Ben from the Pidyon Ben of the Levian in the Midbar. So perhaps we can learn it out. Therefore, Rabbi Kiva says it's a Suffolk, Hamoitzi Mechaveri Olav So if the father had already given the money to the Kayan, he cannot take it back. But if he didn't pay the coin yet, he's not obligated to give it to the coin. When it comes to Avelos mourning, if the child died on day 30, he has halacha, even according to Rabbi Kiva, as day 29. In other words, there's no Avelos for such offspring. Why? Because Shmuel says when it comes to Avelos, we are mekel because it's only the Rabban. It says the Mishnah. If a father dies within 30 days, we could assume that he hadn't paid, he did not pay the before his death because people hardly even pay when they're supposed to pay so certainly we don't have to be concerned that perhaps he paid before he was obligated to pay unless there's a raya that he paid earlier if he died then we could assume that he paid it's not a very strong chazaka as we said people don't usually pay even on time so therefore if people have a rumor there's a there's a coil out there that he didn't pay then the offspring is chayev to pay, to do Pinyin Aben on himself. If a person prepaid the Pinyin Aben, it was within, before day 30, and he uses the language me'achsha, I want it to occur now, the Pinyin Aben doesn't work because there's no obligation yet. And the money that the father gave to the Kayin is a present. If the father didn't use the words me'achsha, he said, I want to pay now, I want the Maisa of Pinyin Aben to happen now, but it should be chal, it should occur after he's 30 days. So if the money is still in existence, according to everybody, it's a good thing I've been. The machlekes is in a case where the money is gone. According to Rav, we can we compare this case to the case by Kiddushin. If somebody gives a woman money today and says, I want you to be mekudeshes in 30 days from now with this money, even if she used up the money, the Kiddushin is chal. So Rav says the same thing with Pinyin Aben, it's a good Pinyin Aben. Shmuel says, by Kiddushin it works. Because by Kedushin, if he wanted to, he could have done the Kedushin right away. He just chose to, to wait. But by Pidyin Aben, he can't do the Pidyin Aben today because the baby's not 30 days old now, so therefore it doesn't work. If you're going to ask questions on Shmuel from our Mishnah that it seems like you could do Pidyin Aben earlier than 30 days, yes, that's because Shmuel's going to say that the money's still in existence. And as we said before, even Shmuel agrees that if the money's in existence, then the Pidyin Aben is chal. There's some that not bears this whole coming sugya, the Rambam and other Rishayim, but if you are Gairis, so the Gemara says, our Gemara has it, that even though typically the halacha is like Rav, when it comes to Yisurim, when it comes to halacha, it's like Pinyin Aben, but over here we're passing like Shmuel, even though the halacha is not like Shmuel typically in Yisurim. If a person has only enough money, five sela, to redeem himself or his child, who should he redeem? He should redeem himself because the mitzvah in his guf comes first. If he has five sela in cash, and five sela is in a field that he sold somebody, so it's meshuba to the kayan. There's already an obligation in the field to the kayan. 
So does Machloikis. According to Rabbi Yehuda, this obligation of Pinyin Aben, which is in the Torah, is as if there's a star that's written to the coin. And that, the coin can go and grab the field. And therefore, the field is for the father, and the five seller that the father has in cash should go for the son. But according to Chachamim, as we had yesterday, that a milvak, suva batayra, something like opinion Aben is as if, it's just in words, it's, there's no shtar. So you cannot go after the field. The only thing that's left is the five sellah that the father has. So the five sellah goes towards the father's opinion and the son is not redeemed. It says the Mishnah, all the chiyuvim in the Torah, such as opinion Aben, if a slave, if a bull kills a slave, the, mas- the master gets 30 shekel from the owner of the bull. The 50 shekel of Oyna Semifata, the 100 shekel of Moitzi Shemra. All that emanation of its suri, meaning it's pure silver, and we're going to see more of it tomorrow. In all of these cases, one could give money or the value of money, any item that has value of this amount, besides Mahsa Shekel that requires the actual Shekel to be given to the Beis Hamikdash. Have a wonderful day.